uh, starting with use state. Let's imagine this is a React.js project, and this is an app.js file. Uh, it contains components inside it. Let's say this component is for a search page. To store that search query, we create a variable called search query and write a function to handle changes to the search query, updating the variable's value. Now, what if I told you that you could achieve the same functionality with one line of code using the useState hook? The first element is the variable name, and the second is the function to change the variable's value. Inside the useState, we pass the initial value of the variable. In this case, we initialize it as an empty string because the search query will be empty at first, only changing as the user enters input. The React use state hook allows us to track state or properties within a function component. Now let's move on to understanding use context. We have three components, user profile, search, and user login. Suppose a user, John Doe, is not logged in. When he tries to access the app, he will be redirected to the login page to provide his credentials. Once authenticated, he will gain access and be sent to the profile page. But the question is, how does the profile page know that the user is logged in? One solution is to pass this information using props. However, when the user navigates to the search page, we would need to pass the same prop again, which becomes cumbersome, especially with a large number of components. To solve this, React provides create context and use context hooks. You create a context using create context outside of the components, naming it something like user detail context. Then, uh, wrap all components with this context. To store the value, you create a state or variable and pass it as a prop to the context provider. All the components inside the user detail context can access this state by importing use context and providing the user detail context as an argument. This makes it simple to use the context state in every component. For example, you can retrieve the username easily or update the username by modifying the state value. Now let's explore the use callback hook. To understand use callback, let's look inside a React project. Assume we have two functions in our app, counter and to do. If we use these functions directly to manage counts and add to dos, it brings a problem. When we increment the counter, the todo function also re-renders. While this doesn't cause errors, unnecessary re-renders can lead to performance issues in larger applications. To improve the app's performance, we can use the use callback hook. Uh, it ensures that the function is recreated only when its dependencies change. In our case, the dependency is to do. This simple implementation can significantly improve performance in larger projects.